my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be doing a pretty big Zaffel try on haul. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love watching these videos. So yeah, if you guys have not heard of Zaffel, it's basically a website that just has a ton of cute clothing, shoes, accessories, bags, etc. for super duper cheap. However, sometimes the things do not look like how they do look on the website. So what I'm gonna do is one, give you guys my completely honest first impression opinion on all of the items they sent me. And number two, I'm gonna include a photo of how the product looks on the website. Also, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload new videos weekly about lifestyle, college, fashion, how to DIY. So pretty much a little bit of everything. And I would love for you guys to join the fam. All right, so the first piece of clothing I'm actually wearing right now, when I got my package yesterday, I kind of just like looked at all the pieces. I didn't try any of them on, but I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, I want to wear it. So the website describes this as a Rahem embroidered hoodie and I absolutely love this. It shows on the website that it's a little bit cropped, so that was not any kind of surprise and it kind of like curls up a little bit. It has some kind of like embroidered writing right here. I actually have no idea what this means, but I'm absolutely obsessed with the color. I believe online they have other color options. Also, you guys are going to notice throughout this whole but I've kind of developed a small obsession for pink things. I don't know what it is like pink isn't my favorite color But I just really like how pink looks so I ordered a lot of pink clothes in my room I have a lot of pink things now. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm just going with it All right, so the next thing I had to add to my shopping cart was a pair of the infamous two-tone jeans That you have probably seen all over Instagram. They actually only charge $22 for these So I'm a little bit skeptical, but let's go ahead and try them on Okay, wow, these jeans literally fit me like a glove. Like, I don't think they could fit me any better. And I'm always so skeptical to buy jeans online because I just feel like I have a weird fit. And I personally like to try my jeans on in person, but oh my goodness, these are so cute. And I'm actually just wearing them with this velvet crop top that I also ordered. So I got this and actually it was one size. So it's only one size for this. I'm usually a size small to medium and this fits me like a glove. I think if you're like medium to large, it probably would be like a little tight on. However, that being said, as you can see, the straps are very, very thin, and I also ordered the shirt in like this champagne color, and unfortunately, the strap was like literally broken. Yeah, I'm not really sure what is going on here, but the strap was definitely supposed to like loop around and it was just completely broken off, which is kind of a bummer because I really like this color. So, oh well, at least I have one of them. All right, moving on, I ordered this chunky sweater. And I thought this would be something that, um, yeah, it's like a sweater and like that's usually what you wear in winter. But spring is approaching and like in the springtime and the summer I like to wear sweaters with a short. So I kind of thought that would be cute. Alright, so this is what the chunky sweater looks like once it's on. I love this. The fit is perfect on my shoulders. It doesn't like bag all the way off super awkwardly, but it doesn't come up too um, close to my neck either. I also ordered another off the shoulder sweater. This one is actually a little bit of a different style. It has a split in the back and then it's a lot thinner. Oh, another cute piece. So this is what the off the shoulder sweater ended up looking like. This one actually has a piece of like kind of elastic or like, I don't know, it's like dried up hot glue, honestly, that kind of like secures it so that it doesn't like fold up and so it stays kind of like down um, at the right fold. And as I mentioned, there is like a little cut in the back, so that is what it looks like. So they don't carry this in a size small, but they have medium, large, and extra large. So I got mine in a medium and this definitely fits me like a glove. I'm definitely glad I got this size and didn't go up one more. Um, but I would say if you wear a size medium, I would definitely go up one size to a size large. All right, so this next piece I ordered because I'm actually going on a cruise next month and I want like some warmer items to wear. Um, so I ordered this and like I honestly feel like a little self-conscious because it's kind of like, it's kind of loose right here, but I feel like if I had the proper bra on underneath, it wouldn't be. And also I feel like it looks like something's missing right here. It definitely would look a lot better with a necklace, but yeah, girl has fake nails on and I can't do a necklace myself. The straps are also very adjustable. So I had them up all the way and it's still like, it's very loose right here. Maybe if I put it in the washer and dryer it'll shrink a little bit i love ordering stuff online because when you open it it just feels like christmas and every day should feel like christmas but the next shirt i'm going to try on is this this is definitely like a different type of shirt i loved it i love cacti they had this in a variety of colors and i decided to get pink so let's go ahead and put it on if you guys remember at the beginning of this video i said i've kind of like fallen in love with the color pink suddenly and they had this in the color white and the color pink and i was like should I get pink? Like, is pink and cacti on a shirt too much? But I was like, nope, I'm gonna get pink, and I am so glad I did. I actually really, really like this shirt. 
Obviously, if I'm gonna be wearing this to my job, I'm gonna to wanna to wear some like more professional pants than a pair of white shorts. But I wanted to show you guys how it would probably look if I wore it in a more casual way as well. One negative thing I would just have to say about this shirt is online, it looks like it's like a pretty full and normal length shirt. However, in person, it's definitely a lot more cropped. It's not like cropped so much that you can see my belly, but it definitely is like shorter than your average t-shirt, I feel like. Okay, so if you're gonna take one thing away from this haul, it better be this because this is so cute. I've missed my lace-up kimono. You guys, wearing stuff like this makes me miss summer so, so much, but I know it's super close. But anyways, I love this so much. It could definitely be something other than a cover-up. You could just wear it with a cute pair of jeans, or as you can see, I'm just wearing it with my crop top and a short. All right, and before I move on to the bathing suits, I just have one last piece of clothing to show you guys. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on for y'all. Okay, I really like this jacket. I've always wanted some kind of like super lightweight, but sportsy rain jacket. I don't know if this is like meant to be a rain jacket, but if it rains, you best bet I'm going to be wearing this thing. All right, so that is it for all the clothing I got. And now I'm gonna be showing you guys some of the bathing suits and the accessories that I picked up as well. Okay, so here is the first bathing suit I got. It's just basically a pretty simple black bandeau style bathing suit. So I always get like a size small or extra small in bikini just because that's what ends up fitting me best. So that's what I did with this one. And while it fits me, I feel like if a wave were to like crash on me while wearing this, this thing would just fly right off. And the reason I say that is because the actual amount of like fabric covering my breasts is not a whole lot. However, if I'm just like gonna go lay by the pool to try and tan or like take some pictures with friends, this would be totally cute. It also came with a pair of bottoms. Absolutely love the way these bottoms fit. I think everyone knows by now that a lot of the stores over in Asia do size pretty small. So if you have small boobs, even like me, I would honestly suggest going up one size. Uh, just because a small is cutting it pretty close. All right, moving on, I also ordered this bathing suit. I was obsessed with this color, so I had to get it. Uh, so this is kind of a different one. It's not a bandeau style, it clips in the back. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this one on. All right, so there's like two different types of people, I feel like, when it comes to wearing bathing suits. There's the girl that like wants her boobs to look way bigger than they are, and then there's the type of girl that just doesn't care. I just have a girl that just doesn't care. Like, I will look flat-chested AF if I want to. Like, I really don't care. However, this bathing suit in particular, and I have others from Zaffle that are like this. I don't know what it is, but like, they can take you from an A to a good, like, C cup. The back does also clip and it feels super secure and as you can see the straps are adjustable at the same time. Also, I know I'm pretty pale right now, but I think when I get my tan going, this red is gonna look really, really flattering on like a tanner skin tone. And finally, I'm gonna go ahead and try on the last bathing suit I got. So this is another bandeau style. Super, super simple. It's just like a regular top that is a bandeau and then it comes with the bottoms. It fits me like a glove. The only thing I have to say is like these little things that are supposed to um, clip on to the little thing, like, I don't know, it came with this thing. I never wear these, so these are gonna be kind of annoying just like sticking up. I wish there was a way for them to like hide it or something. It also makes my eyes look way bluer than they really are, so that's a plus as well. All right, I do have a couple other things to show you guys before we end this video. So I ordered some accessories because I definitely wanted to try them out as well. Now I have a pair of sunglasses that I just like. I don't really get a lot of sunglasses. I kind of just like sticking to one pair, if that makes sense. But I did want to try out a couple of their sunglasses and just like see what the hype was about. So I ordered these two pairs. Both of them are a little bit bougie, a little more bougie than my style, but I figured, you know, why not? It's Zaffle. And like that's the other cool thing about ordering from websites when stuff is this cheap. Like you can literally try so many things for the price of like one piece at like an expensive boutique. I don't know if any of you guys watch Trisha Paytas, but for some reason these just like remind me of her. Like I could totally see myself like eating McDonald's in these. These aren't bad, like I'm not gonna lie, they're not too big on my face, they're bougie AF, but they're not that bad. Also, if you guys are wondering like why I was kind of hesitant at first, it's just because I am a person of routine, so I literally have one pair of sunglasses and that's all I wear. So when I get new sunglasses like these, I'm kind of like hesitant at first, but um, no, I definitely like these. When I was looking at these online, I didn't think that they were going to be as see-through as they are. So that's usually not my style, but let's go ahead and see. Um, I feel like that lady from The Incredibles right now. I feel like if it was actually summertime, I could definitely see myself wearing these more, but for just cruising down the street in the middle of winter, 
not really sure. And I also want to take advantage of all the makeup brushes they have on there because I feel like makeup brushes are just one of those things that like nobody likes spending their money on. At least for me personally, I'm not a huge makeup diva, so there's a huge variety in here. There's like a couple eye brushes, a fan brush, a highlighter brush, a stippling brush, a blending brush, an inner corner brush, so a ton of stuff in here and I actually have already used a couple of these and they were amazing. It actually made me like cringe having to keep them in the packaging because I wanted to use them all. And the final item that I got from Zaffle was kind of extreme but I had to like end the whole pink thing with like a bang. So I got my first ever mermaid blanket. I honestly had no idea that these things existed like in blanket form. I know they had them in like snuggy, obnoxious like pattern form, but the fact that I found one of these in like my color pink and the fact that it's a mermaid, which is like what I've always wanted to be, I freaked out. I love this. I actually slept with this last night. My dog is obsessed with it. We cuddle in it. All right, you guys, so that is basically it for this video. Once again, I just want to thank Zaffle for enabling me to make this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and I would love to do more hauls for you guys in the future. So let me know if you want to see those in the comments below. Also, I can't believe it, but I was just thinking the other day, this time next month, I'm going to be in the Bahamas, you guys. I am so excited. I'm going to a couple of different islands in the Bahamas for spring break with my friends, and I'm going to vlog it all, and I'm going to like do packing videos and stuff. Oh, it's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna have all the products shown in this video linked below so you guys can access them easily as well as all my social links. But yeah, thank you guys so so much for watching. I love y'all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!